Impact Analysis Information Technologies Effect on Education and Entertainment Who am I? I'm a Queensland University of Technology first year Information Technology student. What is the trend? We'll be discussing that disposable mediums are slowly being replaced with environmentally sustainable mediums and that information technology is making domains more interactive. Via the internet, there is now a collection of instant access online information of magnitude that is unprecedented in human history. This wealth of quality material is now filling the need of written literature. The written medium of paper and books as a source of education is becoming less popular. Instant access, custom tailored searches and manipulation or interaction with material is becoming an expectation of modern society. What effect does this expectation have on the domain of education? Written materials are being converted into digital mediums through all mediums of society, including education. This trend of ebooks and electronic information has been a driving force behind new invention success, including the iPad. But tablets aren't new. Tablets are an old invention. What has caused the success of tablets recently is the emerging culture shift of a desire for instant information and the wide proliferation of advanced portable technology in modern day culture. It wasn't that long ago we were carrying around mobile phones the size of bricks. Now mobile phones can be the size of a thumb. According to Straker LM 2008, computers are firmly established as a part of everyday life for both adults and children in many countries. By using mediums such as tablets as a replacement for disposable education materials, such as paper and pencil, you're simultaneously providing students with a tool that is far more powerful than the pen, which is said to be rumoured to be more powerful than the sword. Let's compare pen and paper to the devices that we have access to now, mainly the tablet. Let's take, us, uh, let's take a moment to examine the difference. Tablets are fully interactive with the ability to use a stylus exactly like a pen to type as if using a keyboard, to browse all forms of internet content, which as we know the internet has uh, one of the widest forms of content of information on the planet. It is the, the information hub. And it has that amount of information at the touch of a finger, at instant speed. Tablets are capable of running three-dimensional graphically impressive programs, allowing a broad spectrum of learning programs to be created for the medium. A new generation will be born into a world of rapid-paced information access like never before. We think our generation has seen, been birthed into this and then seen this evolution. Think about the developmental tool of technology's effect on education and how it can be seen not just in hardware but in software. And think about those effects of what it's had on us, what it's had on our parents, and what it's going to have on this generation that will be born without having experienced this with that, with no, no technology like this. In education in general, we are seeing that information technology is making domains more interactive. This is the second trend that we're experiencing in information technology and its impact. Simulations can be highly realistic environments and programs attempting to mimic massive amounts of different variables to create more realistic learning environments, as is seen in a recent study on uh, driver learning and uh, psychological repair in uh, realistic driving simulations. Simulations can also be simple interactive animations that react according to input from users as seen in engineering. By simply pressing different numbers and experimenting with different variables they get to see different effects of a wind pressure and, uh, uh, and other aerodynamical features on advanced complicated equipment but done in such a way that it's very easy to digest such complex information. In medicine, we see, according to our scales, medical education during the past decade has witnessed a significant increase in the use of simulation technology for teaching and for assessment. In engineering, we see that, according to SL Wood, computer simu simulations are methods to help students understand a new concept quickly. They've been proven to be an efficient tool both in teaching and self-learning. According to CBOTS 2009, simulation and virtually Virtually interactive mediums have been found to improve the speed at which a student can absorb new information. He goes on to say, The student's motivation was highly increased. The students tended to have higher interest levels and tended to have a better understanding of principal stresses, principal directions, more circle, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, similar matrices, and invariants. Now those are all highly complex components of physics, and through the use of these simulations, it completely helps a student absorb that information. Through the use of simulation environments for education, the process of education is becoming more streamlined and more effective. According to Martin Martinez-Torres, MR, 
2009, students find e-learning appealing and engaging, and may therefore be more involved and motivated as a consequence. By creating interactive learning environments, we are allowing a more individually tailored learning experience that provides a broad spectrum approach of education. By providing interactive education that offers resources to learn in any method of the Bark model, you allow all forms of information retention to obtain relevant information equally effectively. No one student is worse off or better off from the manner at which a teacher teaches its class. Where one student benefits from animation, simulation or physically interactive real life models, another benefits from widely available written and statistical information. All those forms of information are accessible through this interactive medium that information technology provides. And this increases overall performance of students due to the simul simultaneous methods of the VARC model being available through a single medium, through the information technology medium. Entertainment. The trend of disposable mediums is slowly being replaced with environmental, environmentally sustainable mediums. Port portable technology is everywhere. Smartphones, tablets, and laptops. Newspapers, magazine books, they're all becoming digitally available to the mass. This includes film and music. Online stores such as iTunes allow instant access to a plethora of music, song by song. It also allows the instant purchase of a single episode of a television series. Elements of the entertainment industry, such as distributors, who cannot evolve with the culture shift of digital interaction and entertainment, are experiencing a continuous slow loss of demand over their services. Borders, who filed for bankruptcy earlier this year, has had their market value shrink by more than $3 billion since 1998, having racked up losses by failing to adapt to its shift in how consumers shop, according to Bloomberg 2011, February 17th. The trend of information technology is making domains more interactive. In regards to entertainment, this wild-scale ease of access has created new demand for customizable content. It is now commonplace to have online access only music sales. Beatport and wide array of online music sales stores do not release their tracks in a physical medium whatsoever. It has gone completely digital. According to Terrell, 2010, in 2005, there were over 2 million songs available online, yielding over 1 billion in sales for record companies. In 2006, the online sales of music doubled, and 11% of recorded music sales were digital downloads or subscriptions. By 2010, the US consumers are expected to spend $7.8 billion on digital music, TV, and music movie download. This effect on the domain of entertainment. We are now seeing large-scale pirating of completely digital copies of media, including music, film, television, and literature. This is one of the negative effects. We just discussed the positive of the increase of sales through these mediums. But through this, inf through this technology, we gain this effect, piracy. It is no commonplace activity to access and participate in theft of a commercial property as long as it is in digital format. This effect has many implications of positive and negative effects on society. It raises new concepts and new perceptions of what is property. Is it okay to steal when you are not physically holding or removing another person's property? The element of copying opens up a plethora of moral and philosophical issues on the notion of property and the notion of free information. A recent study was undertaken to measure the effect of piracy on entertainment mediums. Smith MD 2009 concluded, Our results suggest that creative artists can use product differentiation and market segmentation strategies to compete with freely available copies of their content. He went on to find, Likewise, our finding that the presence of pirated content does not, can does not cannibalize sales for the movies in our sample suggests that if free and paid products appeal to separate customer segments, the presence of free products need not harm paid sales. In other words, some people like to pay, and some people want to download. As we as a species immerse ourselves in a world of ever faster supply and demand, for information and for entertainment, we find ourselves facing never before experienced ethical situations. If I do not take something from you, but copy that which is yours, with your permission, does that make me a thief? According to financial and corporate institutions who wish to change, who wish to charge individuals a fee, yes. As our technological opportunities multiply, we challenge our defined concepts of ownership and possession from the previous century with an unspoken, currently evolving mentality of acceptable theft. If the majority of people who use online resources and computer technology are all in silent agreement that it is okay to share information and materials in such a manner, then it is a clear demonstration of a generation of individuals who have shown mass change through interaction with the information technology. The dawn of the information age of an age where no one person owns any intellectual property for themselves. Where information and all forms of art, such as films and mu music, is free. 
Once you birth intellectual property and you share it with people, it becomes something that is no longer yours. It is everybody's. You've birthed it into the world. You, you've given it to everybody. Isn't that how ideas and art are truly meant to be in the first place? What if Einstein behaved in a commercial way and only shared his scientific data with the highest bidder? This concept of ownership of knowledge and, an art, and art is, is outdated and it's destructive. Freedom of information allows more advanced and well-refined forms of education. It is my conclusion that with fewer restrictions on information, education will become more powerful and efficient. These, that arts will become more widespread and easily accessible. A culture that has a high level of education and arts available to its public is a superior model of society. We can't compete with free. That's an economic paradigm that doesn't work. James, James Giannopoulos, co-chairman, 20th Century Fox. And that was quoted in Thompson in 2003. I hope you found this presentation insightful. Education is not for sale and neither is intellectual property.